what is up guys hello well today i'll be talking about uh, the new streaming service music streaming service sorry called tidal now from what i understand it's a service a lot like spotify and you have to pay for it um with spotify you can pay for it if you want to pay for to a monthly subscription but you can opt to just use it for free we get a, a lot of lovely ads like for car insurance or if you live in tiny where the metro service which is always fantastic but yeah uh, basically about the company its company itself it's a artist owned business and in the press conference you get to see pretty much all the co-owners as far as i'm aware i don't know how many there are i think they were all there but i'm not too sure but the artists that were there are in a list here because i can't be bothered to name them all because i'd be here all day going du, 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 you know just stam stammering my words or whatever and i can't you know it would you know look bad on me and i'd probably end up crying after this video <laughs> if i started stammering and things so but um yeah my views on title uh, i don't know what to think about it because i don't usually pay for things so this is a bit awkward um like i can see what they're doing they're, they're wanting a stream service where the artists get paid fairly but i don't know how the maths is going to work out on that you know i can't possibly give you an idea of how they would work it out it would have to be sorted out with their label well you know if they're on the service they'll, they'll have to sort with their label do you get what i mean um so i don't know how that's gonna work out but you know it'll get sorted out eventually hopefully um hmm like there's a lot there was a lot of content well pss, well not a lot of content um in the press conference but like there was a lot of content with the amount of stuff they were saying but like the two main things that i picked out were that you'd be able to get exclusive content on tidal which is all right i guess it depends what it is because they never actually stipul stipulated what that was so yeah, it's personally for me, for me personally, I don't particularly care about exclusivity a lot. Usually because I'm very, very slow at picking up on trends <laughs> and things. So, you know, you know I'm ne I've never been a trendy person ever, you know. So, why should I care about, you know, being up to date with all the latest trends and exclusive new things are coming out you know but i know for like some people out there whoever you maybe uh, do care about exclusivity and that's and that's a great thing that's a great it's a great thing it's a good idea for those that are interested in ex ex in in ex in in exclusivity you know yeah, but um, the other thing was, um, CD quality audio. Now, like, I know this this has been an issue for years and years and years, especially with the growth in the 90s, well, 80s and 90s with the, the birth of the CD, or, you know, the CD disc thing. And a lot of us back in, them, uh, back in that time were saying, oh, the audio is absolutely terrible. You know, we need to go back to analog to save the universe. Ha ha ha. Um, digital recordings are a lot clearer, in my personal opinion. But, you know, I do do love uh, getting vinyl. I love listening to vinyl. Um, because you get a warm, crackly sound it's a much more natural sound if that makes sense personally i would love to own a vinyl machine it'd be amazing but <laughs> that's another story for another time 
but I don't know. I don't know in terms of title with CD quality. I don't. I don't particularly know. I don't particularly care. I mean, for as a music consumer, as long as I got the music, I don't care how crappy the sound is. If it's like, you know, if it's if it's if you can't hear anything at all, then you know that's obviously quite bad. But you know, like my like my girlfriend, she doesn't know anything about music or music quality or music production and things, you know. And one time we were in the car and we were listening to um, I don't know what it was. It was some it was something that uh, it was a CD that we made and we were listening to that. It was one of the songs of that. I think it was um, We're the In Crowd, but it was a cover. I think it was by Brand New or New Found Glory or something like that. I don't know. Um, but um, basically, the audio was terrible. That the, the copy that I got, and I was like, "Oh god, it's absolutely terrible. The quality, I can't stand it." And she was like, "Eh? What do you mean? It sounds alright. It sounds a bit distorted, yeah, but it sounds alright." I was like, "No, no, it's not. It's not. It's terrible." But um, <laughs> yeah, it'll be the way that I downloaded it. And and um but yeah like for the general music consumer they don't care about audio as long as they get it in their hands or in their ears they don't particularly care but for me in terms of a uh, title as a you know trend i don't see it happening especially if you have to pay for it because people don't like paying for things you know i mean if yes if if there is exclusive content, it has to be good for people to pay for the service. Otherwise, there's no point paying for the service. And also, if there's exclusive content, think about this. If there's exclusive content, there's always a possibility that it can get leaked. So you could be able to get it later. Personally, I don't know what they think about title. But what do you guys think? Because, you know, you guys are the most important people, you know, not me, you know, uh, personally don't think it's gonna go that well, but what do you guys think? Leave a comment below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video and I shall be seeing you all soon, so bye bye.